this idea about how humans domesticated dogs. In my mind, I envisioned a scenario in which humans perhaps stole the puppies from their mothers and, you know, brought them back to their, wherever they were living and raised them. Uh, and, you know, basically did the same thing we're doing with foxes today, you know, keeping them trapped or maybe tying them up and uh, getting them used to us that way, getting the puppies used to us. Some people thought that it was the dogs that were coming around and just eating scraps from their garbage or whatever, or the humans were offering them food. And in this way, they forged a symbiotic relationship that they talk about which I address in my video called uh, Man's Best Friend, History or Mystery. But I thought you guys should know about this article from Psychology Today that I came across, written by Hal Herzog, PhD. Because it really surprised me. And uh, it really gives a different picture as to how dogs were domesticated by humans. Actually, it shouldn't come as a surprise because as I shared with you before, my dad used to work in the far north of Canada, like in the subarctic regions, and uh, he told me stories about how people living up there would have a really hard time when it came time for them to do number two, if you know what I mean, go to the bathroom. The dogs, the sled dogs, would come running and would gobble up the poop uh, enthusiastically and it was often a chore to have to shoo the dogs away because that's how much they loved to eat human poop. So this article tells us the consumption of human feces may have influenced canine evolution. Poop is central to the story of how dogs came into our lives write Duke University dog researchers Brian Hare and Vanessa Woods in their wonderful new book, Survival of the Friendliest, Understanding Our Origins and Rediscovering Our Common Humanity. So they surveyed nearly 3,000 dog owners about their pet's penchant for poop. 23% of the dog owners had observed their dog eating feces and 16% said their dogs did so frequently. Not surprisingly, many owners were grossed out by their pets' dietary preferences. More than 900 of them had purchased at least one of the 11 commercial products that purport to reduce canine coprophagia. None of them, unfortunately, worked. This is just another way they are making money off dog owners' Get a dog. You need a dog. You're not a good person unless you have a dog. And buy these products that don't even work. They hypothesize that canine feces eating is essentially an obsolete trait that modern dogs inherited from their ancestors' gray wolves. They argue that the consumption of feces by wolves was an evolved adaptation that served to eliminate a major source of intestinal parasites near their dens. But now they suggest feces eating may also have played an additional role in the evolution of dogs. The anti-parasite hypothesis makes sense, but it does not explain why, when given the opportunity, dogs eat human feces. There is a study done of wolves and dogs in the mountains of Ethiopia. The dogs, it seems, but not the wolves, regularly consumed human feces. One of the most widely accepted theories of dog evolution is the scavenger hypothesis. It's argued that the evolution of dogs from wolves began when Paleolithic humans shifted away from roving groups of hunter-gatherers and began to form stable settlements. Along with settlements came garbage dumps. It's proposed that wolves that were more temperamentally tolerant of being around humans would have more access to an abundant new food supply. This would give them a leg up on the Darwinian competition for resources and facilitate the spread of genes associated with tameness. This self-domestication strategy was successful. There are now a billion dogs on Earth compared to 300,000 wolves. But what did these early wolf dogs eat? 
In his book, Dog Sense, the anthrozoologist John Bradshaw points out that the scavenger garbage dump hypothesis can't be the whole story. The emergence of dogs began between 15,000 and 25,000 years ago, well before the invention of agriculture, which dates back only about 12,000 years. And Bradshaw doubts that hunter-gatherers could produce enough garbage to make food scavenging worthwhile. He then raised the idea that human feces could have been an important source of energy for the first domesticated dogs. So while he found this idea distasteful, he was intrigued by Brian's suggestion that the consumption of human shit may have played a role in the evolution of man's best friend. So he located the study of Ethiopian wolves and dogs. They wanted to know whether free-ranging dogs competed for food with endangered wolves, which lived in Ethiopia's Bale Mountains National Park. The answer they discovered was no. Dogs rarely ventured into the wolves' territory, and the wolves and dogs had different dietary preferences. The wolves ate rodents almost exclusively. The dogs, however, had a more varied diet. In half of the 400 meals the researchers observed, the dogs dined on barley husks discarded by villagers. However, 21% of the dogs' meals consisted of human poop making it the second most popular item on the menu. An analysis of 400 scat samples revealed the same result. This just goes to show you how absolutely filthy and disgusting dogs are. They are shit eaters, like I've always said on this channel. You know, and people deny this. This is science, guys. It's a fact. So he also located several other published reports on the consumption of human feces by dogs. The most extensive treatment of this unsavory topic is a series of papers by James Butler and his colleagues. They studied the diet of free-ranging dogs in Zimbabwe. 56% of 1,000 dog scats they sampled included human feces. The dogs would roam from homestead to homestead, searching for garbage and poop. They would locate human feces by smell and dig it up if it was buried. As dog food goes, human feces was surprisingly nutritious. They found that poop contained twice as much protein as the dog's most common food, a porridge called sadza. In a 1996 paper, Instances of human feces consumption in areas of sub-Saharan Africa were documented. In Liberia and the Cameroons, a dog's waste disposal functions included licking the bottom of infants after they defecated. <laughs> this is just so disgusting. Simoons noted that the... I can't pronounce that. I think that the exclamation mark makes a clicking sound. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. These people of South Africa did not eat dog flesh because dogs eat human excrement. More recently, the topic was discussed in a 2020 paper. It was a study of dogs as a reservoir of guinea worm parasites in which researchers found human feces was a major component of the diet of free-ranging dogs in Chad. So free-ranging dogs are not going around hunting, you know, they're primarily scavenging and eating shit. They are shit eaters, disgusting animals. Investigators encountered instances of feces-eating canines in the course of many field studies. When he asked Bradley Smith, a researcher in Australia, about whether dingoes consume human feces, he wrote, Indeed, they do. In the Aboriginal Australian and dingo relationship and history, it is a key feature in some places. The Texas State University chimpanzee researcher Jill Pruitts said in an email that at her research site in Senegal, dogs play a big role in the 
cleanup of latrines. Oh, so gross. And she added, that's the reason dogs are not considered cuddly pets. If only people in the West, in more developed countries, could see dogs as they are, as the disgusting shit eaters they are, maybe less people would own them as pets. Jeremy Coster wrote a paper with Kenneth Tankersley in the North American Archaeologist. They noted that ethnographic studies show that human feces are consumed by dogs on a regular basis in pre-industrial, hunter-gatherer, horticultural, and agricultural-based economies. However, he says that nowadays the presence of latrines largely prevents the consumption of human feces by dogs at his field site. So if people were still shitting on the ground, let's say here in Canada, North America, Europe, if we were all shitting outside, the dogs would be having a great time eating it all up. But we don't see them do that because we poop in toilets. In the nearly 50 years, the anthropologist Thomas Headland lived among the Agta people of the Philippines. He observed their relationships with many species of animals. In an email, he described the role dogs played as a mechanism of waste disposal in Agta villages. Every campground had dogs, and they were connoisseurs of fresh human dung. Get this, guys. Toddlers would run around naked, and when they got the urge, they simply squatted and defecated. Dogs would run over to the feces and gobble it up within seconds. And they would sometimes lick the child's bottom. Older children and adults, however, would walk away from camp and defecate in privacy. Often, the dogs would follow them and eat slowly some or most of the excrement. There is ample evidence that human feces can make up a substantial proportion of the daily diet of free-ranging dogs. And from a dog's point of view, human feces appears to be tasty and surprisingly nutritious. Given its nutritional value and accessibility, it is certainly reasonable to think that in some places, poop eating was involved in the evolution of dogs. So given the results of scientific research, it is reasonable to assume that the first domestic dogs were not taken away from their mothers and caged or tied up like I thought, or fed, uh, you know, scraps of meat and so on. They were likely following around groups of humans and eating their shit. This is something people should be aware of. We should be seeing dogs as they are. Uh, for the, you know, seeing them for the shit eaters they are, not as human-like. We need to quit anthropomorphizing them. We need to quit humanizing them, quit calling them our sons and daughters and fur babies and grand puppies and girls and boys and all of that nonsense and call them what they are shit-eating, scavenging, filthy beasts. The future is dog-free.